All right, hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, Lost Race Scaling update video. So, the Lost Race Scaling version 2.10.1 uh, beta just released on Steam, and uh, here are the change log on your screen. Now, before starting the video, I want to go over some change log which will be helpful for NVIDIA and AMD users. Uh, so the first thing is uh, it's now contains the LSFG 2.2 frame generation the lossless 2.2 frame generation which is very good in detecting the UI of any game like there is no hood detection in the UI uh, but there are still some issue which I will talk you when I go inside game uh, along with that there is now one thing called the max frame latency I will show you in a second what is that but uh, let's just uh, remember that for nvidia gpu it will be one and for amd gpu it will be three or sometime at least two or three so yeah if you have an amd gpu remember these numbers two or three and if you have nvidia uh, remember the one along with that they have now uh, added the v-sync tearing option like you can allow your display to tear and get some better frame rates and everything so yeah let's uh, i have already run the lossless scaling and uh, rdr2 uh, in the background so right now as you can see my fps of uh, rdr2 is around 73 uh, at this location the msi afterburner is not compatible uh, it's just giving me some error gfx state uh, with the lossless scaling so yeah i recommend it uh, disabling before uh, using the lossless scaling along with rdr2 so let's just switch to the lossless and uh, i will show you which settings to use so first of all uh, we will use the latest lsfg 2.2 frame generation along with the performance uh, x3 mode which will boost for performance very like uh, high and we will pick the performance option it will uh, create some uh, small artifact but it's not uh, very noticeable so after that the thing which i was talking about the max frame latency uh, here it is so if you have an nvidia gpu just set it to one if you have an amd gpu just set it to maybe two or three see which one uh, suits better to your gpu and here is the sync mode you can allow tearing but your frame rate will be very uh, high but if you can if you don't like tearing you can just uh, turn on the v-sync to what do you say uh, according to you like this is the half this is the one third and this is the one fourth so yeah i, I will allow tearing because my display uh, supports a g-sync and uh, i don't face any kind of tearing issue uh, and again i'll set this to one because uh, i have nvidia gpu rtx 2060 don't forget to click on draw fps it will draw the generated fps uh, capture method dxgi and uh, rest of is uh, as usual i am not supporting it if you are using a custom display or custom resolution then click on this the virtual resolution support vrr so yeah these are the settings uh, i'm using now in order to uh, record the lossless along with obs uh, the previous update after the previous update of lossless some users are reporting that uh, obs is uh, not recording the lossless so in order to do that you will need to run the obs as administrator the obs as administrator not the lossless you can run the lossless however you can administrator or not administrator but you need to run the obs as administrator in order to record the lossless and do the same process as usual if you don't know how to do that i'll put the video on the i button right here now i have windows 10 slash 11 uh, pro serial key at a very cheap rate only 250 rupees indian so if you are interested let me know in the comment section or come to discord the stock is limited so hurry uh, i'll also show you a little bit of that so yeah now i have set the parameters here now what i will do click on the scale turn off the display capture and turn on the uh, lossless in between when the lossless kicks in the five second in the five second timer i will do all this thing and go inside the game in order to capture the lossless scaling this is just the capturing method if you are just playing the game you can just click on scale and go inside the game nothing else so yeah i'm now going to click on scale turn off the display capture you cannot see anything right now now i'm going to go back inside the game and wait a few seconds and yeah there we go uh, now you can see here top right corner uh, top left corner sorry uh, maybe i'll uh, increase oh damn i i punched roach uh, okay uh, so you can uh, see the fps uh, at the top left corner uh, i have uh, maximized it a little bit oh whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on boy come come 
and you can see the fps is now around uh, 150 it is very high so now i want to talk a few thing about this lossless scaling like uh, who should use it and who should not if you have a very good gpu or pretty mid end gpu like me uh, like any rtx card rtx 2060 3060 4060 uh, there is no need to really use the lossless scaling lossless scaling is basically targeted around the low end uh, gpu users for suppose gtx 1050 1050 ti or maybe even 570 or gt 710 uh, but yeah you can still use it it is supported on all kinds of gpu all kinds of game like any game you want you will be able to use the lossless scaling on that and now uh, to the performance of the lsfg 2.2 so the lsfg 2.2 frame generation is very good like you can notice there are no uh, hood glitching or hood flickering at all but when you notice around uh, arthur's body if i move uh, quickly you can see a very little uh, what do you say flicker or shadowy or blurriness around Arthur's body but yeah it's not very noticeable while uh, playing like uh, in action sequence and everything uh, the input latency i have to say it's somewhat similar to my native fps like when i was getting around uh, what do you say 70 fps in native uh, it was almost similar to that but i don't know maybe a little bit better yeah it's a little bit better than that but still it's not uh, I mean compared anywhere to uh, Nvidia reflex on with reflex boost. Yeah, that is still top tier in latency uh, Reducer, so yeah, if you have a low-end or mid-end GPU I do recommend using lossless scaling to any game But uh, if you have a high-end GPU just use any FSR 3 mod uh, from my channel for RDA 2 or any game that will be better So yeah, this will be it for this video now if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue while using uh, lossless scaling comment down below and don't forget to join the discord uh, i will be posting some new mods and uh, latest news and discuss about everything so yeah until then cheers i'll see you guys in the next one